Now, I, I've turned the volume down so I can talk to you about what's going on here. Um, this is the American perspective. Uh, the American perspective is this. Yes, it's that. Um, all of a sudden, India is, is past everybody. How did that happen? How did that happen? Well... Um, I, I think it's because you're seeing the kings of the east. Look at all these look at all these satellites going in the earth in the orbit. Look at this. 104 satellites launched at once. They're very small, uh, you know, very doable. The American ones are tons. It's tonnage to lift off. And this is <sighs> that one looked like a, a cell phone, didn't it? Somebody dropped the astronaut dropped his cell phone. He said, Oh no, <laughs> my phone. No, but those are the actual satellites going. From what I understand, they're the size of a shoebox. Uh, what is a shoebox? A shoebox is the box in which your shoes come in. Um, that's my understanding. This is, Look at all this stuff that's dropping. I did a video where the head of the CIA said, uh, this is what he said. He said this. Yes, that is what he said. Those were his literal words. He said that. Um, it's amazing, India. It's amazing. And here I am realizing what I'm seeing, right? I am here realizing what I'm seeing, that I am the herald. I am the herald of Galactus. I am India's Peshwa of the, the great Hindustan empire that is coming back. King Ashoka wishes he could have what's getting ready to come. He wishes. India is going to dominate the world in ways you do not even understand. I understand. Um, and maybe you understand, too. That sounded kind of uppity. I didn't mean it like that. Look at all this stuff, dude. Are you kidding me? 104 satellites, bro! And what do the neighbors of the West have? Mm -hmm. uh, Running water, maybe? Mm. Dude. Domination, yo. We need to get a really, really big uh, t-shirt made for the whole continent, the whole country of India to wear that says, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Because that's what India is saying, dude. Oh, man. I love India. Full of jahindedness. I can say that because the warrior queen's not here to correct my uh, my made up words. She is uh, getting cleaned up, so I know she won't be in camera shot because there's no way her hair's not done, her makeup's not done, and she's standing right over there. I see her in my peripheral, and if I was really mean, I would take the camera and just go. Ba -ba! <laughs> she's staring daggers into me right now. I can feel it. But that's okay. I've been married a long time. I can endure. <laughs> now she's doing a dance. Oh, I wish you could see that. I wish you could see that. This is worthy maybe to break into song. What do you think? Jahin, Jahin, Jahin. Hey, I'm going to tell you a little story. Um... I've made some Indian friends here in America, and um, uh, when I greet them, I greet them with Jahin, and they look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> they look at me like I'm crazy, dude. They just look like, do you know what that means? Uh, yeah, God bless India. India, they're great. You know, and they're like, and when they introduce me to their Indian friends, they warn them. Uh, he, he knows Indian movies, politics a lot. Don't be freaked out. It's a little weird when the white dude starts talking about India and is more Indian than we are. And I take that as a... Yeah, that's right. Peshwa. Look at that. Your Peshwa approves, India. Let's go raise the Hindustan flag and uh, continue on. Continue on world domination, yo. World domination. Um... Please check out our radio station, darkskyradio.com. Be amazed. Look at that. If you're four, this is probably freaking you out. If you're an adult, probably not. Um, check that out. And, um, oh, K 
Kings of the East is coming. Rishi Kesh is working on it. Rishi Kesh, my adopted son. He is my son. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.